welcome back, we're back, right? So uh, it's a new week, back to grind, dedicated to the grind and dedicated to learning every day, right? So uh, if you're here watching this video, I want you guys to do something. Make sure you, wherever you learn, make sure you practice and practice, practice all over again. Just make it stick to your head and make sure uh, you apply it on your chart, right? Don't just watch and and let it go, right? Make sure you apply it on your chart, right? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use Fibonacci trading strategy and also how I apply it on my chart, how I make use of Fibonacci on my chart, right? So before that, showing you guys, I want you guys to do me a favor. There's a link in bio of this video description. Make sure you click on the link to join my free Telegram channel where I share my free signal, free trading setup, market update, and more. Make sure you join that right now. And also make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel right now. Let's do this, let's do this right now. So let's jump straight to the video. So what is Fibonacci? Fibonacci trading strategy is just a tool in the market already programmed by the algorithms, right? All the numbers have been calculated, right? So it's meant for any individual trader to pull, plug the tools on your chart and make use of them. As I said, different traders have different ways they make use of it. But I'm going to be showing you my own top secret on how I simply apply my Fibonacci and they give me the result I want, right? Now, I've heard different traders using 0 0.50 of, uh, of Fibonacci. But let me make mention of that. 0 0.50 to me is totally not uh, acceptable to be using on Fibonacci. Because what? Now, the normal rules in trading is you're trying to buy low and set high. Now, when you're using Fibonacci 0 0.50, that is like an equilibrium price, right? The price is just in the middle. You're buying in the middle of the market. So it's very, very much likely that the 0 0.50 will, will not play out. So these are the, the two major levels I uh, look for on Fibonacci in the market. We have the 618 and we have the 0 0.719, right? These two levels are what I try to gets my entry in between and also we also have the extension sorry guys the market is not really well the extension is 0 0.27 now how does i make how do i make use of my extension extension simply means like opportunity for you take profit yeah a possibility for you take profit ahead now if whenever you plot your fibonacci it automatically give you an extension this extension is where you see like, okay we have higher number like 0 0.27 array and this replacement level is 618 and 719. As I said, why I don't enter trade on the 0.50% explained earlier. And this is why I trade on 0.618 and 0.79. So I get to try to get my entry in between these levels, right? Now, you need to understand when it comes to Fibonacci, there are two things. Sorry, three things, yeah? You can only trade Fibonacci in a trending market not in the range market fibonacci is not making use when it comes to in the range market you can only use them when it's in the trending market either the market is is an uptrend or bearish now we understand that a range market is just market moving between a a high or a low maybe a supply or demand zone and the trending market is something giving us a lower low lower high lower low lower high lower high right a downtrend market creating higher high, higher low, higher high, higher high, something like that. So let me jump on the chart and show you guys how exactly it is to plot your Fibonacci on the chart. But first of all, let me show you guys the settings, how you can plot it on your trading view as well, right? So let's jump on the chart. So yeah, guys, this is Euro card and uh, I'm going to explain how I got these trade entries. As you guys can see here, these are the two trades I've taken right here using Fibonacci. And you can see those two trades is a massive hit right now. I mean, they profit. I can't show you guys the profit because I'm using the phone right now. But let me explain you, to you guys and you guys learn from here. First of all, for you to plot your Fibonacci, come to the left side of the uh of your trading view you see fibonacci retracement level right there click on fibonacci retracement level and uh here is my settings right let me show you guys the settings now here is my style this is important for you guys to plot on your chart if you want your fibonacci to be exactly like my own so do this right now you can pause it and do all these settings right do all these settings you can see all this important to put on your chart 
right? Then the feasibilities right there will go. Then we we'll have the coordinates. The coordinates is just the price. That's not necessary here. Uh, it automatically bring you out there. So as I said earlier, Fibonacci is just a trading tool to uh, add to your confidence whenever you're trading. This is not really a, a tool to make you profitable in the market and of course you already know it's a probability in the market always right now it's just a tool right to add as a confidence to your trading uh method so let's go back let me explain this all how i got this euro card strategy and first of all on this trend you should know that this is the downtrend and i'm going to show you guys how to always draw your fibonacci so first of all when it comes to drawing your fibonacci if the market is an uptrend right when the market is an is a downtrend let's say downtrend right i market created a new higher 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 low higher low right so how do you draw your fibonacci now the fibonacci rule says draw from the recent eye if it's the market listen to this guy pen this down pen this down right now if the market is in is an uptrend if the market is an uptrend yeah draw from the recent eye to the recent low and if the market is an uptrend sorry sorry guys if the market is a downtrend drop from the recent high to the recent low right and if the market is an uptrend you need to draw from what the recent high the recent low to the recent high now what do i mean now in this market this is a downtrend for example right you draw from this recent high to the recent low which is this where the market started rejecting back up again yeah this is where the market started rejecting right just as this is where market started rejecting, right? And 618 will give you where a point of reversal, a point of retracement. And this one eight, your entry lies in between this level, right? But you know that you need to also add some confidence, like support resistor and your trend line confidence, wherever it is, yeah, to put it in there. And I'm gonna show you exactly how. So let's go back to the example, the Euro card trade example, which is this. And how do I get this trade exactly? How do I get this trade? set up exactly uh this is the four hour time frame i'm going to claim my analysis to show you guys to break it down to you guys now but you guys see my entry right now and so one is currently smashing my take profit already so let me delete all my analysis to start all over again and uh here we go so previously let's get back to this zone yeah Previously, you can see I marked out my what other block right here, which is also a support level, right? I was expecting this start. I was expecting this start to get to this level and make a rejection. So what happened exactly there? This was a four-hour time frame. This is a four-hour time frame. Now the market go here. Yeah? See the moment, yeah. Make a rejection on that zone. When the market make a rejection on that zone. Don't forget, like we have a previous eye around that, which is also aligned with this level, right? So the market automatically, when the rejection was done, created a new eye for us right here. Market created a new eye, a new eye, which is this, as you can see, which I marked out earlier. This is the new eye that the market created for us in that zone. Now the new eye. What is the confluence now, yeah? Now, we have the support level right here. You can mark the support level right here out. Right? Support level right here. And the market has created a new eye, which fails to, which has rejected initially, and which has failed to break above the new recent eye that it has created, right? Now, we're currently here, the market is currently here doing what looking to break below this line and don't forget that we have support right here which is next i'm looking at if the market break below this is coming back to this next support which we have right there so let's see what the market does right there break below you can see the market broke below it and this support right there the market rejected from that support rejected from that support now, when the market was rejected from that support, what do you think you have to do? What do I do there? All I did was 
Now, this is the recent high for me. This is the recent high for me, and this is the recent low on this support, right? But don't forget, this is the support giving us possibility for buy. But remember, one of my videos, previous video, I said you need to look for tough pattern on the support level to confirm a trend change or price correction to confirm whether the market is really changing or not. So right now, you need to draw your Fibonacci from what? From the recent high to the recent low. Which is this? Recent high to the recent low. Here we go. Right? Now, if you draw the market from the recent high to the recent low, you can see that the 618 is currently here and the market is currently reacting to the 618 for us. And don't forget, this zone is also a previous broken support level, which is now a resistance. So, market is doing a retest of the zone and also 618 has given us the retracement level we need right there. So right there we have the 618 already, which is this. Right? So let's play forward, let's see. Now as you guys can see there, I already took myself from around here. I took myself earlier from here. Now Remember I said my entry lies between the 719 and the 618. So what I do mostly is put my stop loss above the 719, 0 0.79. But in this case, you guys know that it has already passed above my rule. I can't use 0. Point, I can't use 30 lots, uh, 30 pips stop loss right here. So what I did is I just tried to adjust my stop loss back to the 20 pips initially I risked. Right, but now in most cases your stop loss needs to be above the 79 because why if Fibonacci if the 618 does not reject it, it's possibility that what the 79 will is gonna reject it, right? That's why it's always good you put your stop loss above the 79, but don't go against your rule. So now what I was targeting, let's go back to the one hour time frame, let's digest it lower. Now at this point, I was targeting to to take the profit at this support level right now this support level you can see we have like a uh, ob right there this is an ob i was looking to take the uh trade around this level but i can see that a rejection was happening like pushing back up so what do i do in that case right let me adjust this back all i need to do is draw my fibonacci again from this recent high back to this recent low right you need to just need to redraw from the recent high to the recent low and draw it drain from here to the recent high to the recent low and you can see right there we have what 618 lying in that level right we have 618 lying in that level so what am i expecting i'm expecting the price to push up back to this 618 and take a sell back to this yeah so what i did is patiently waiting and let's see the replay i was waiting for the price to get to that zone patiently waiting just consolidating before the price actually got there and uh, during this London section period, the price eventually got to that point, right? See, the market touches right here, then I picked myself. I was waiting, right? Though the market has been doing it like it was gonna drop, so I was just very patient. Remember what I said, your stop loss above your 6-1, your 7 9. Now my stop loss was above my 7 9, it was also giving my main, I'm not going against my risk management right here. And I was targeting what? The 0.27 as extension. I said 0.27 is a take profit for us there. The extension level right there. Now, also, remember I said Fibonacci is not just only what you use. You need to combine your trading tools there. If you have watched my previous video on how to uh, use trend line, teaching you guys how to use trend line, you can see what the trend line is also giving us right here. Giving us confidence that okay, there's a zone right here, aligned with whatever we're doing, right? The trend line and the Fibonacci in the same level, and boom, the market dropped, and probably current back in the Fibonacci to 0 0.27 right now. The market profit is smashed already, but I know that what the market is gonna break lower. So what? This is what I'm expecting next, right? Now, this is what I'm expecting next. I'm expecting the market to break lower. Right, the market to break lower is already breaking lower the support level. Breaking lower the support level, right? Now, how do I catch the retracement? When the market is breaking lower the support level, if you're gonna use Fibonacci again, all you simply need to do is right here is drop from this recent high to the recent low wherever the market is making rejection level. Let's say the market made rejection level right here. 
right? Let's say this is the rejection level. You need to draw from this recent high to the recent low, wherever the market made the rejection level. And what your Fibonacci is also aligning here, telling you that what there's possibility for another entry. Because what this market is the downtrend. So all you're looking out for is opportunity for yourself, right? On this market, very quite simple to, on how to use Fibonacci, yeah. That is how you apply Fibonacci on your chart, right? Make sure you apply it on the trend market, not a range market. And the extension, what's the extension meant for, right? If you check the chart earlier where I showed you, you can see my 0 0.27, that's the extension. Telling me that what? There's a possibility that when the market gets to that 0 0.27, we can have what? A reversal right there. So Sniper Gang, if you enjoyed watching this video and you've learned one or two things, do me a favor, subscribe to this YouTube channel right now. And you can also join uh, the platform I drop free signal on Telegram. Let's trade together, let's make money together. Sniper Gang, let's go.